All right, it's Saturday, November 10th. Uh, this is day number four of Ruckcation. Uh, I missed out on putting up a video the last two days, and while I kind of explain here while it's going on, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll some footage from the last couple days. So what I did was on Thursday, would have been November the 8th, uh, I was hunting that same stand I was on the 7th and I had a pretty good morning. I ended up seeing uh, four different bucks, six does, and two button bucks. And then about 11.30, I turned around and looked in that same spot. I kept eyeballing that same spot where that big 10 passed through on Wednesday. And it was like 11.33. Uh, that big 10 walked straight through that same path so I gave him some time to get out of there uh, rewind to yesterday I had a Veterans Day program at my niece's school so I was there until about 11 I came here and got right in the stand and had an overall pretty slow day uh, just one seven point at like 1230 and then I had a doe come past at like 530 so, kind of a disappointing day there, pretty slow. Um, but this morning is November 10th, and I've already had that nine pointer come by at like eight yards, and I've had two different does come by, and the good thing was both of those does were by themselves. So hopefully they've kicked their fawns away, and I was kind of surprised there wasn't a buck with those does, but Hopefully that means they're going to be coming into Escaris any day. But um, we're back in here again. Just going to set tight and see what happens.
November 10th and woke up this morning and the truck said 18 degrees on the drive here. Um, steady, six to eight mile per hour west to southwest winds. Already had that nine point come by at about nine yards and uh, three different does. All those were right at first light. Um, that nine point was actually kind of hard to see. It was so dark, the camera shows that it's a little bit lighter than what I could see. But um, yeah, he just came cruising by right at first daylight. Just sent checking and went back here and checked on one of those does that was by itself. Kind of bumped her, then just went on his way. So we're gonna sit here and hope that Big Ten comes by. I keep calling him the Big Ten, but I've had so many encounters with that buck over the last four years. Um, three years ago, after a few encounters, um, I typically don't name bucks, but this is the first one that I ever had, and uh, ended up naming him Buck Norris just because of all the, you know, internet memes of Chuck Norris can't be killed. Um, I thought that was pretty suiting for him because it's still holding true. I just just can't kill the dang thing. Um, I love it, but I hate it. It's just driving me crazy and I'm not going to stop till I kill him. Um, but he's definitely got the hand up on me right now. I just can't seem to seal the deal. So many close encounters like that one there in the food plot. Um, back in October, I've got another video on my channel of him last year coming by like 55, 60 yards or whatever it was, just out of range. So, uh, Buck Norris has beaten old Hoosier Hunter here for four years straight. Um, but it's going to be bittersweet when I put the end to it, but it's going to happen. I will kill him. It's just a matter of when at this point. He's old and wise and been slipping past me for about four years straight. Hopefully I can put it all together on footage and be able to share that experience with you guys.
ahead and do this uh, closing interview here. Only got about 20 or 30 minutes of light left. Um, it's the evening of November 10th. And uh, just been another really slow evening for some reason. Um, had two different does that I saw, but they weren't even really close. They were over here feeding on this ridge. Um, but overall, just real slow. So this morning was good. Um, I'll be back out in the morning and just gonna keep grinding. Still chasing around Buck Norris, and I uh, want to make sure you guys subscribe. Stay tuned because I'm gonna stay after him and hopefully get it all on video. You guys have a good one. Happy hunting. Stay safe. See ya.